Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today we're going to make this cute little Kisses and Hugs Valentine pouch. We're going to start with an Amuse Studio craft bag. Um, Amuse has these in plain craft, polka dot, and diagonal stripe. Great for your Valentine treats. Um, I took a couple of hugs and kisses and embellished the bottoms of them with a little bit of Sweetheart cardstock, a little bit of Heartbreakers cardstock. I just cut scraps with the Nestability Standard Circle Small Die and stuck them to the bottom of the kisses with some Tombow adhesive. It's a cute little surprise. I'm going to go ahead and put those guys in our little craft treat bag and fold over the top. All right, there it is. I'll set that aside. Now, here I have a piece of Bermuda cardstock. It's 3 8 by two and three quarters. And I stamped Happy Valentine's Day on it with um, Versamark and embossed it with white embossing powder. And I'm just cutting a dovetail end on that. And then I have some Sweetheart cardstock and this is five eighths by three and a quarter. And I'm gonna cut that same little dovetail ending on here. All right, so we got our little banners. Now the ticket is made with Amuse Studio. That's the ticket stamp set and coordinating die. The die cuts three tickets that are um, together with a perforated um, section. So I have made three of these when I made this pouch. I'll put a link to a video showing you how to use this stamp and die set together. Okay, so we've got our little ticket and our sweetheart banner. And I've got some Tombow Mono Multi Glue. I love this glue because it grabs fast. It's super sticky. We're gonna put just a dot of glue on the corner of the ticket there and add the banner. And then another little dot of glue. And then we're gonna add the Happy Valentine's banner. And that just makes it easier to clip them on, kind of arrange them in a way that's cute, but where you can see the kisses and hugs and all the sentiments that are on there. Okay, so we've got our little banners all glued together. We're gonna set them aside to dry for so I'm gonna show you how to make this small clothespin embellishment. This is a Muse Studio small clothespin. And the fun part about these little small clothespins is they are half the width of the washi tape. So I've got a Valentine assortment here. Love this washi tape assortment. On this one, we use the little Starburst pattern washi tape. On this one in the video, we're gonna try the stripe and see how that turns out. Okay, so to cover these clothespins, you just um, pull a length of the washi tape a little bit longer than the clothespin. And I just leave it on the roll and attach it to the pin with the extreme edge of the tape along the extreme edge of the clothespin. Do you see that? and then kind of burnish it down and tear off the excess. Okay, so you've got this big overhang on one side, which is nice because then you can use the same length of tape to embellish the other side of the pin. And then I'll take my scissors and trim out along the edge of the pin. Okay. And, and then this piece that's left, if you line up the straight edge that you did not cut with the edge of the pin and stick it down on the clothespin. Barely any trimming will be necessary. It's almost exact twice the width. The tape is almost exact twice the width of these small pins, which makes it a fast, easy, fun, customizable embellishment. Okay, so we've got our little pin and it's now a striped clothespin. How cute is that, right? We're gonna make our little sweetheart be mine to further embellish this little clip. All right, so I've got be mine stamp and some pistachio cardstock. I'm inking up in Versamark ink and stamping on the scrap of pistachio. I've got white embossing powder here. I'm gonna pick up some white embossing powder. and then just heat emboss this. Okay, this one's easy to trim out. We'll trim it out nice and close. Okay, there we go. Our little Be Mine heart trimmed out nice and close. 
and grab two of these tiny little foam adhesive squares. Put them on the back of our heart and adhere them to the center of the clothespin. There we go. Look at that, isn't that cute? All right, so we've got our little clothespins on. Now let's just put them together the bag. All right, so treat bag. It's a three and a half inch paper doily from the new studio, folded in half. Cover the top of the bag. Add your banners that are now glued pretty solid together. Embellish with your stripey clothespin. Look at that, how cute is that? Let's put this little guy back together. There you go. All right, if you've got any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments under this video or email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Thanks for stopping by.